Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Nicole with Made From Scrap and today I am going to do a little walkthrough of the cute little mini album that I have made with the CCC paper collection that is Forest and Stream. This is the 12 by 12 paper pad that I used and I went ahead and used some uh, older artisan cardstock that I had in my, in my stash. Um, I also went ahead and used um, medium weight chipboard for this. It measures five inches by seven inches for the cover and the spine is an inch and a half in width. So a couple of the cut aparts I used on the front, I layered it up on some brown uh, paper that I had picked up from Country Craft Creations as well. Inside of the album, I have a small pocket on the inside of the front and back covers. Here's some more of the cut aparts that are in the collection. And then I just used the paper itself for matting. I did a little bit of matting here that we can have a tuck spot in, just like that. And then I also did a little tuck spot here by just gluing around some of the little cut aparts there and made a little booklet. So that's super cute. Uh, I have two pages in this mini album. So on each of the pages, they're both the same. I have a flip right here for the top. So you have, this is a good size flip. It measures uh, four and a quarter inches in width and six and a half inches in height. Then once you flip that up, then you have this overlapping flips right here, which opens up to a nice big uh, mat. Then this opens this way. You have this paper collection that you can show off. And I have another little booklet in here so we can have some more journaling. Then this also flips back this way, and then you get to show off a bit more of the paper. So I just thought that was super fun. The little girl there with her learning how to hunt. These are pocket pages, so you can also uh, stuff some of your extra photos down in the two pocket pages, just like that. Then on the back side, we have here, uh, some of the cut aparts. It comes with four of these cut aparts that measure four by four. So I did this and it looks like a little magazine cover. And then we have this one here as well with this being a pull down. And this pull down is also a pocket here on the back of the page. So here's a couple more of the cut aparts there. I just put those in the pocket and then this also flips up like this. So you have a nice big spot for another four by four photo and showing off some more of that paper. So similarly on this second page, we have the flip up. So you can see here some more of that paper collection cut apart in this overlapping flaps here, opens this way get to tuck in another uh, little booklet that I made. And then it'll open up this way as well. I just layered up some of the paper, just like that. It closes, flip it over, and you get to see this pull down here as well. Just like that, flips up there and then the pocket on the top or the cut apart okay and then on this back side you have another pocket and I did a little bit more layering here and that's it this comes together very quickly and I hope you enjoy this little tutorial Okay, so once you have all of your papers cut, we're going to start with the base pages. 
So put your paper in with the 12 inches at the top of your scoreboard, and let's go ahead and score that at five and a half inches. I'm gonna do both pages. Okay. And then you're gonna have two pieces that measure four and a half by two, and we're gonna go ahead and score that on the two inch side at half an inch. And we'll do that with both, both of those. And then we are going to have two sheets that measure 10 by six. So place those in your scoreboard with the 10 inch at the top. This is your right flaps and we're gonna score that at half an inch four and three quarters, and nine. And we're gonna do that twice. Half an inch, four and three quarters, and nine. Those are your right flaps. Then we're gonna have four pieces. These are the overlap flaps. These measures three and three quarter inches by four and a half. And on the three and three quarter inch side, we're gonna go ahead and score that as at half an inch. Okay. I'm gonna quickly do all four of those. One more. Okay. Then we should have the top flaps that should measure four and three eighths of an inch by seven inches. And we're going to go ahead and score those at half an inch and five eighths. So it'll be just a one eighth inch score line, or I guess gusset, if you can see that there. Okay, and we're gonna do both of those half an inch and five eighths. Okay, those are our top flaps. Then we're gonna do our back flip pocket. These measure four and a quarter inches by 12 inches. And with the 12 inches at the top, we're gonna go ahead and score that at four and a quarter and seven and three quarters. Second one, four and a quarter, and seven and three quarters. So it's both of those. Then we're gonna have two pieces. These are the inside cover pockets. These measure just short of six inches. So we're gonna score these half inch on both sides of the measurement that is just short of six inches. And then once on at half inch on the three and a half inch side so that it's a pocket. So you have a U-shaped pocket just like that. So you're gonna do that here. Three sides, two short sides and one long side. You're gonna score it at half an inch. And those are the pockets there. And then I have the hinge that measures one and a half inches by six and three eighths inches. And on the one and a half inch side, I'm gonna score it at half an inch and one inch. And then lastly, we are going to have our our two inserts, these measure uh, six inches by eight inches. And with the eight inches at the top, we're gonna go ahead and score at four inches. Okay. And that is all of the scoring. We're gonna go ahead and fold and burnish.
this looks like this. And what we're gonna do is one will flip like a Z fold, just like that. See that? And that's how this works. goes like this. After we put the decorative paper on, we'll just glue the top and the bottom, and this becomes a little tuck spot. And this is our half inch hinge that holds that to the front of the page. So for our base pages, we have just went ahead and folded those up at the five and a half inch uh, measurement. And then we have our two inch strip that we, we went ahead and folded at, with the half inch. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and place glue on this half inch and then right along the top of this folded five and a half inch strip and right along the bottom of this two inch strip. That way when we place this down, we're gonna line this fold up with the top right here and with the side. And we will place that down just like so. And burnish. And if you have a little bit on the edge, you could just trim that off, just like so. And then you have your pocket page. And this is how we get a pocket page that is larger than a six inch pocket, just like that. So I'll do it one more time. Place glue along that half inch, along the bottom of that two inch, and then along the top portion of that five and a half inch flap up. Just like that, and just like that. And there's our two pockets. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take this piece right here that we're calling the right flap I'm gonna go ahead and place glue along that half inch flap there. And I'm going to place this right down, centered top to bottom along the right hand side of the base page. Okay. Now when you open this up, we're not gonna glue this yet because we're gonna wait for the decorative paper. But once you put the decorative paper in, you'll just place a bead of glue here and here, or you can use your tiny attacher if you like that look. Okay, we're gonna do that again one more time. Doing both pages here. Okay, right along the right-hand side of the page, and we're just eyeballing it top to bottom for center. And then burnish it down. Okay. Next, we're gonna have the overlapping flaps. Those are gonna go here. So place glue 
on that half inch flap, eyeball that to the center, place that down, push that down, and then I'm going to place glue here along this half inch flap, the second one. And in order to line this up, I'm going to line up the bottom of that overlapping flap and then the folded edge along the edge of that right flap page. And this way I can make sure that these are straight on the top and the bottom. Open it up and burnish it. That's that. I'll do it over here one more time. That. Center this top to bottom. Just like that. Go this one. Press that down. We're going to move to the over the top flap. Now what I want you to do is to make sure to push that gusset down flat so that you can see the gusset because you do not want to place glue on that. You only want to place glue along that half inch flap. And then we're going to open the, the right flap up so that you're on top of the base page now. You're gonna line that up right on the right hand side. So it is just next to the score line of that right hand flap, but it doesn't get in the way. I'm gonna burnish that down and then we'll open it up and burnish it again. And this way this can come closed like this and then this top flap can come down and you'll just need to push that gusset back into place. And this is your pocket page, just like this. Last thing we have to do is the back side, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this top flap on this one as well. So I'm gonna open this up, place this top flap right against that corner of the page, just tucking it right up against that uh, fold. Burnish that down. And this can close just like so and fix that little gusset. There we go. Turn that over. Now we're going to do the back flip pocket. Now, in order to do the back flip pocket, I want to have put my decorative paper on first and then I'll place this down. I'll show you what I'm going to do is once I put glue on three sides here of just this top square, I will go ahead and push this down onto the paper and I just align it with the bottom of this folded piece so that I have it's so that I have a couple of inches from the top. Let's see, I have about an inch and a quarter from the top. Okay, that's that. That will go here and this will go here. And those will be our two pages. Okay. We have our inserts. Those will go into the page pockets just like this. And the other thing that you can do with this page pocket is once you have this flap on, you could actually have just one side of that page pocket in there so this helps hold that closed as well, that little Z fold. So this will be on the back. And this will slide right down in there. Okay, those are your two pages. 
last thing we have are just the pockets. We'll cut the corners out from those two pockets. These go on the inside of your front and back cover. Okay. to fold in the sides first, place a little bit of glue there, and then fold up the bottom. And then I give it a good burnish. That's my inside cover pocket there. Number one, and number two. There's my two pockets. Okay, so this is the back of my page. There's the pocket page right here. This is going to be slipping right onto my hinge, just like so. And when it folds over, we're gonna have this um, back flip pocket, is what I was calling it. That's gonna go right here. So I put my decorative paper on. And what I'm gonna do is just place glue along the side, the bottom of the fold, and then the third side, leaving this unglued so that it can work as a pocket. And I'm going to go ahead with this folded and just leave a little bit, ever so slight amount of the decorative paper showing at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and press this down. You can then fold this down and we'll go ahead and burnish. And this is going to create your little pocket page that is also a fold down. And then what I mentioned is that the insert could then go right into the pocket just like so and can fold around that in order to help keep it closed. You can use a magnet if you'd like uh, to hold it closed or not. I'm going to go ahead and do this second page. Let's go ahead and actually I'm going to go ahead and place glue along my hinge. I like to put it on both sides of my hinge near the top and I'm going to open up that pocket page a wide and slip it over top of my hinge just like so make sure it's straight on the bottom and on the top and we'll Press that glue down into it. And just make sure that you're not all the way down on that score line. You want the page to be able to turn freely. So I'm going to do the second one. Place glue along the top of that hinge. Just like so. And that's what creates the third side of your pocket. Okay. And go ahead and make sure that that's aligned with the page underneath. I like to do the back page from the back towards the front so that I can line each page up with the page behind it. down right there on that hinge. This is going to go here. This will go right there after I get my decorative paper on. This one will go right here. Hold that shut. And then that is my little mini album. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, 
and I hope to see you back here soon. Don't forget to check out all the crafty goodies at countrycraftcreations.com. See you soon, everyone. Until next time, happy crafting, you all. Bye.